Scott Brown has a reputation that precedes him. Over 24 years, he's built a band program at Seattle's Roosevelt High School that's justifiably famous. Here's Josephine Chan with the story. All right, you animals, let's go. Let's go. Scott Brown's band classes are so popular. Here we go. One, two, three. Da, 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 da. Beginning symphonic band is packed with 93 fledgling musicians. That's beautiful. One, two. Despite the huge classes, Scott's well-trained ear picks out each player individually. Nice. And he helps each student find his or her groove, and not just musically. Good. He's taught me to like be proud and stuff, and just really have self-dignity. Everybody feels like I know them, I care about them. If you intend to go on our spring break trip to Washington, D.C., and I hope you all will. I used to not smile to during performances, time. and he's always been like, Oh, Molly, if you don't smile, I'm going to call your name out in the crowd. And so now I've always smiled whenever I perform. <laughs> That's it. Scott is known throughout the region Four, for the Roosevelt three. Jazz Band. Every year he shepherds a band good enough to compete in the prestigious Essentially Ellington Jazz Festival in New York City. Festival organizer Witten Marsalis declared them the best high school band in the nation for the second year in a row. It was very difficult to choose the three bands, but here they are. Here's your high school. That was priceless. Just to look out and, you know, know that we had won. This sort of was like the ultimate you have done something incredible and be very proud of yourselves, feel good about yourselves. It's all alumni day. No wonder former students can't resist coming back hey, to visit good their to beloved you. band teacher. Wow, they're still winning <laughs> snare drum competitions. Mm -hmm. And a revel in what they say so, was their uh, single most here. unforgettable high school experience. We wouldn't even think of not coming, you know? Like, it wasn't even in question whether we were going to go. We were just like, let's go. And Mr. Brown, you can't ever forget him. Now we're talking. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's it. Thank you. This is uh, an absolutely amazing evening. I'm just so odd to be in the presence of these great educators and to see these programs and to have you all here. This is, this is powerful stuff. It's just, it's absolutely wonderful. I remember back when I started those 24 years ago, I used to go into the faculty lunchroom and you'd hear the older teachers, which is, I guess, what I've become now, <laughs> saying students, they aren't what they used to be. And uh, they were right. Kids today, they're more talented. They're more diligent, dedicated, informed, witty, hip, athletic, expressive, creative, intellectual, accepting. They're more stressed. They're more confused, questioning, and too often uninspired. My students, some of whom are here, they wanted me to tell you about the Roosevelt Bands. They say it's a place where acceptance, patience, teamwork, and talent meet hard work, artistry, and just plain old fun. It's a place where you can belong and where you can grow. Young people, they need passionate, patient, informed, and enthusiastic educators with high expectations who exemplify and ask for personal integrity, accountability, commitment, and the desire to do well. In my 24 years of teaching at Roosevelt High School, it's been my experience that 
students, today's students, excel in those conditions. And making music, especially when you get to make it with other people, it's one of the most endlessly challenging and also amazingly gratifying things that you can do as a person. I'm truly honored that for our music making at Roosevelt High School that I'm able to receive this Golden Apple Award this evening. Thank you so much. Sometimes music speaks more eloquently than words, so we've invited one of Scott's swingingest jazz combos to play for you tonight.